Hello everyone, my name is Lorth and welcome back to Minecraft Dragon Dungeon. I am going to be doing a complex spell on crafting, but before I make it, I also see on this list to do rune crafting and scribe tables and all the amble stuff. And that made me think of the metal runes which let you permanently do stuff, so and there's a lot of rune stuff we have to do, so I might as well start with the rune plates and all that. So, it gives you sort of a list of unrefined rune plate. So, unrefined. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, rune plate. Should Unrefined rune plate. Is any colored rune surrounded by clay? Okay. I put that in there, so we'll just need clay with that. Then, clay is one of those resources, you know, that we're going to need to get anyway, so let's go grab some clay. Blood Moon has passed, we can go to bed, sleep our worries away. Seriously, what is mana regeneration based on though? Because I regenerate so much mana, that seems a little buggy. It's not nighttime. Why is it dark outside then? What vile magic is this? Hmm. Alright. A little bit of clay from the riverbank. Good enough for now. Oh, let's snake a little bit more. Okay. And we can make an unrefined room plate with that. So that is just like that. Alright. And that can only be done in the forge. But I think we want to chisel out the padron first? How, how does the rune crafting work? God, it's been a while. Runesmithing. Alright. So, I have the unrefined plate. And I want the rune scribe table as well, which requires chalk, purified vintage, and dust in a bowl. Argh, I should have thrown up all those bowls. Bear chalk. Uh, spare chalk. Stone, wood. Purified vintage dust. Need more wood. It's not in there, hey? Okay? Nope. Bowl. Alright. So, there we have a rune scribe table crafted. Good. Put that together. Slap that down in here. Do I? I don't think I put the. Okay, so easy to make. We'll just get it refining. Okay, and then I need the hammer and chisel, vintium and vintium and lots of sticks. Go figure. I need more sticks. Okay, so. We have, I believe, the Vintium ingots here. Yep. Can make one hammer, and one chisel. Okay. And that's that fired. Yeah, that can go there. Put both of those in there. Okay. And then I want to craft that rune plate. Which has the recipe of a nightmare. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how this works. So, we get that set there. I think, yeah. And that there, that there. And then it's one more here and here and here. And then it's like that. No, ah, oh, shit. I messed it up. Okay. No way to reset them, is there? That one's garbage. Okay. Right. Take two. There, 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 and there. One, two, one, two, two, da, 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 da. Uh, duh. There we go. Okay. 
So I've got a rune. Now I need the superheated Vintium and the rune Anvil. Okay. Right. Runesmithing it is then. Uh, why is the Anvil not come up here? Hmm. I think it would. And... Anvil. Alright, so it requires an anvil and purified anvil. So much chalk! Okay. Right. Paper, Vintium dust, bone dust, and flint. Alright then. Uh, is it just the paper I'm missing now? It's just the paper. So, you require that, you require that, that should be four of those there, and then you need purified Vintium dust, two of that, and you need an anvil and a barrel. Ugh, what a pain. That there, got yourself an anvil, I'm going to need to go cut down a tree. Can't keep putting it off, not doing it, so we'll just take out this one here. Don't need those saplings though. And we'll make a barrel. Okay. Now we know how to make a barrel. And there we go. Barrel made. That made it. We could use the used up chalk. Not bad then. And now we got the rune forge made. Put that there. And now, oh god. Okay, so you plus you go together. You make me that, which is all fine and dandy. And you can be put into a blast furnace or a normal furnace. And you will give me Vintium ingots. Let's go collect some furnaces. Alright, got the furnaces. And I want to make these furnaces into that. That needs more iron. Alright. We shall get more iron. There we go. Didn't have our buddy in our inventory. Right. We shall get iron. There we go. And with that, then we go over to here. We go uses for use. And we say make blast furnaces. And that gives me two blast furnaces. I feel like these really shouldn't be in the library, but oh well. And you can get half the Vintium, and you can get half the Vintium. Alright. And then we need superheated Vintium. Which, yep. Cars those to go into there. And that will get superheated. And then we take this. Let me put that there. And I think I should do like, if I do just one, uh, how, how long, how long does that take? It doesn't say. Well, maybe it does, but it's not showing me anything. All right, so we take that, we put that there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Right. And done. Okay. Good. Now if I throw a bunch in there, maybe I can do them all at once as a stack. I do not know. See how long it takes to heat them all up. And if it works in stacks or not. If it works in stack is great. If not, uh, less great. 
but rune smithing is always fun and we're getting some good things make a charcoal scribe of a scribed rune what's what's a charcoal what okay we'll, we'll figure that out book well that's heating up okay what on earth the charcoal scribe um runesmithing charcoal patterns um to insert you can use these patterns by placing paper on top then activating the anvil okay ha, ah. so we can't do it in stacks i see Oh, well that's just messy. Right, where where Where'd the hammer go? Ah. Right. Well the metal does appear to stay heated though, which is good. I was worried it would cool down and be unusable, but it appears to have layers unlimited amount. Ah! That just broke. Okay. How many of these do I need? Let's see how many metal runes, because I got 16. 16, and I need... It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Okay, 14. Plus... Um... 8, 14 plus 8 is 22, plus another 8 is 30. Okay, 30 of these. So one more set should be able to do it for me, which means I'll need one more superheated Vintium as well. I believe, or two. It might be two more superheated. Okay. So I put that into there. Got that there. Of course, I have to do this manually, but it is fairly straightforward once you have the principle of the matter in your head. It's just a case of not messing it up. And so one of those there, and we'll just leave one in there and put the spare one over here. And then we can put that onto there. We can take the superheated and put it there, take the hammer back here, and forge that down, and that gives me four runes. Yes, okay. And so then these remaining three will give me the final result in amount of runes that I desire for permanent ritual placement. Like so. So I will no longer need to chalk the place every single time I want to cast spells. And there we go, that is 32 of them. And that is more than enough. Okay. To get the job done. Not exactly centered back here, is it? Okay. Oh, and I don't know if these can be picked up again. So I might need to make more in the future. We'll see. But I got this done. We got two spare in case I mess up while placing them. Why was my math self? Was I putting them down twice? Fourteen twenty-eight. And my math was off. It's twenty-eight plus eight. Yeah, twenty-eight plus eight. Plus eight. 28 plus 16. Oh boy, okay, right then. I will need, I believe, all of these then here. Jolly good. Wow, I can't believe my math was so off. That is embarrassing. Okay. That means a lot more superheated, because each one of these... Right, you turn into you and you make 
four of those. So that's 16. 16 might be enough. I think, remaining, right? Uh, well, it takes a while to smelt anyways, so I'll do the math while I'm out there. Let's see here. Because that is 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 8 is 12. Yeah, that will be enough. That will be the end of that one, and that will be that done. can store the tools on the anvil, thankfully. And then that is that completed. I forgot about the one in the middle, actually. Okay, and then for this a spell, we need the purified Vintium Dust to start with, because I can look at all the requirements here and slowly collect them into my inventory. Speaking of which, though, it will require, from the looks of it, two superheated, so we can just get those running while we run about and do the muck about. Okay, so that will be you started and then the spell is started. And that, that's everything that it requires. My goodness, what a list. I think it requires every kind of sword. Yeah, definitely every kind of sword. Diamond, gold. Does it need an iron? Yep, every sword type. Okay, so two of you iron over there. And two of you diamonds. And we got the stone. Sticks thin. Okay, right. So, that'll be wood, that'll be stone, that'll be diamonds, that'll be irons, and gold-wise, do I have full portions of gold in one of these bags? Because I know I have nuggets somewhere. What did I got in you? Ah, I do have four po full portions of gold in you. Okay, right. And gold. And so, with an empty hand, I should be able to have these go where they're supposed to go. Yeah, wood there, that there. Um, let's see, you there, diamond there, and that there. Okay, nice. Uh, needs all the range upgrades, and I need the Vintium dust down there, of course, and arrow crossbows wait a minute oi you there i need that okay i will do i will still do no give me a crossbow damn it they are up on the mountains i might be able to kill them for crossbows up there i might also just have a crossbow inside one of these chests Let's see, it's been a while. Um, I probably don't. I just thought I might. I got the arrows. Got lots of arrows scattered all over the place. Was it one of these? I thought I remember picking up a crossbow at one point in time. Maybe I never did. Wow, I got a lot of stuff, but now it's a crossbow. Hmm. Concerns for another time. The superheated should be done. Vintium dust in here and arrows. We can go grab the crossbow later and let's put it over here. No, no, no. Huh. Okay, well then. Anyhow, is it? I'm gonna need all the colors of the rainbow for this as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And a bow. I do have those. Okay, arrow, superheated, and superheated. All right, well, lots and lots of things get done, but we'll get that all done next time. So as for now, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And until next time, I will catch you all then where we craft the spell. We continue with our wizarding journey, and uh, we see if we can make a spell that can deal a decent amount of damage. All right, bye!